Hey guys, it's Raymond, a math person. Today I'll be going over question 251 on an SOA exam P. So we'll pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. A state is starting a lottery game. To enter this lottery, a player must use a machine that randomly selects six distinct numbers among the first 30 integers. So out of the 30 integers, you choose six. Okay. A uh, winning entry must match the same set of six numbers that the lottery selected. An entry fee is $1. Each winning entry receives a prize amount of $500,000. Calculate the probability the state will lose money given that 800,000 entries are purchased. So given that there is a hundred thousand dollar entries purchased, the profit function first the state is going to be equal to a hundred thousand because you know you make one dollar per entries minus the five hundred thousand times the number of people that won times the number of winners. Right? And we're trying to look for the probability where this is equal to negative. Alright. So for example, if there's only one person that win, that's just going to be 1 times 500, so it's going to be 800k minus 500k, which is equal to 300, which is definitely greater than 0, right? So we're not looking for one that's when there's one person that won, but when there's two people that loses, or when there's two people that wins, then the state actually loses um, 1,000k, which is definitely equal to, a, which is definitely a negative number. Right, and then same thing for when there's three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. So we're essentially looking for the pop the complement. We can look at the complement. So that's one minus the probability that there is zero winners, minus the probability that there is one winner. Okay, so then we can actually use a binomial formula, right? So we still have to figure out what's the probability of winning. So the probability of winning. Well, let's first think of this. Um, out of the 30 integers, we choose 6. So that's 30 choose 6, um, right? 30 choose 6, which is equal to equal to 5, 9, 3, 7, 7, 5. Okay. And then what is the probability that you're going to get exactly this one? Well, that's just 1 over this number, 5, 9, 3, 7, 7, 5. Because think about it. So in order to win, you have to select exactly the same amount, exactly the same sequence of these numbers so that's you only have one prob probability one choice of that happening so that's one over this okay well let's just plug it into our formula then one minus the probability of zero winners well probability of zero, zero winners assume that there is a hundred entries or a hundred thousand entries we can use either probability or binomial formula well I'm pretty sure guys we are pretty familiar with it by now raised to the zero power over 1 minus this number, 593774, over 593775 to the 800,000, subtracting minus the 800, choose 1, there's one winner, so that's going to be raised to the one power, the first power, and then this will be raised to the 799 okay so let me type that into my calculator real quick and this is approximately equal to 0.3898 which is approximately equal to 0.39 which is our answer b if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below or if you want to make sure i really get it make sure you email me at roomy the math person at gmail.com because i realize youtube kind of like skips some of my message my comments so i haven't been getting some of them so again i'll, I'll be back pretty active on email so make if you enjoy this make sure you like subscribe and share bye